Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to the All-American episode of Hot Gamers Only. I'm Kyle, your host for this week. Uh, Ethan, he is here, but um, he's off celebrating his birthday, so he won't be here for very long. He's with us in spirit. I'm here. Anyways, um, joining joining me this week, we have Hunter. How's it going, Hunter? Oh, I'm doing just swell, playing this nice new Spider-Man game. It's delightful. Oh yeah, this new game is fucking beautiful. And also, coming back again, we've got Kane. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good. Just uh, been playing some Spider-Man. Otherwise, not too much going on. <laughs> nice, nice. And also here to play tech support. We can't leave him out. It's Ethan. Yo, guys, how's it going? I've been loving Spider-Man every single minute <laughs> of it, baby. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> you and that PS5 of yours. Oh, yeah. It's great, dude. It's great. No. Kyle's right. It's, it's my birthday today as we're recording, so I'm just big chilling because we don't have the PS5. It's great, you know? Um, I have the, <laughs> I have the game. <laughs> I can't play it, though. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite you, part. you can give us our impre your impression of the, the case oh it's a good ca oh i can tell you it's a, it, tell you ps5 cases are terrible and here you go guys tangent already before kyle's even done the spiel tangent already right <laughs> so i was asleep when this was delivered and my dad had already got home from work and instead of checking the mail like we got like a mail slot on our house right so the disc just kind of came through in the package and instead of my dad checking, oh, let's check if there's mail there. No, he just walked through the fucking door with his boots on, like like proper like metal-toed boots, and trod on the fucking thing. And I'm not <laughs> joking, it disintegrated. The actual box, this is my Fallout 4 box. This is my Fallout, I finally found a use for Fallout 4. It's this case. <laughs> <laughs> you took Fallout 4 out of the box yeah, and put he destroyed the it. The disc's That's fine, hilarious. by the way. The disc's fine. For those who That's care, good. Look, there's the disc. It's all good. But the actual huh. thing destroyed. And I just laughed. I was like, That's great. Because imagine if the disc had broken. That would have been a great start. So, no. That's great. <laughs> but no, yeah. It's my birthday. Hooray. <laughs> You know, happy birthday. Yeah. Everybody I'm, go I'm, tweet at I'm Ethan. the birthday happy boy, birthday. dude. I'm the birthday boy. <laughs> I'm loving it. But no. Anyway, Garrett, go on with the spiel. Yeah. Cool. I, I, that's all. That's all right. That's all I had. That's that's literally the limit of me in this episode. That's fun, guys. That's <laughs> fun. We do the spiel. I'm gonna switch. So to all of our viewers who don't like Ethan, here yeah. you go. We finally have an episode without him. I, I've literally switched to the. It only took moment. 35 episodes, but we did it. <laughs> I'm here in spirit. How dare you, sir? How dare you? <laughs> anyway, carry on. Anyways, this is hot gamers only. Um, we come to you every week to talk about what's new in the world of games. Um, new episodes go live every f every Monday, 5 p.m. UK time, 12 p.m. Eastern. And you can find us on podcast services, including Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and everything in between, except what has recently been brought to my attention. Ethan, we're not on, we're not on Amazon Music. I, I, do, not, so. I do not have a clue how to get onto Amazon Music. <laughs> I can look into That's it. Thank funny. you. Thank you for being I mean, this just got brought up to my to me today. Apparently, I guess Jacob tried searching for it there, and it wasn't there. So, hey, if you guys want us on Amazon Music, I will have a look. In fact, I will do it as the show goes on. I will do if that. If you want us on Amazon Music, on music if we can get on, and then tell us. Leave it in the comments <laughs> of the video after you please, subscribe. Please make sure you yes, subscribe. Please, please subscriber. Yeah, we have sub incentives. Please subscriber at thirty five sub at at thirty five. That's, that's the episode number. <laughs> at seventy five subs, uh, Ethan will do a drunk crash for all all clear gems run. Yeah, Is definitely that the on PS five now. You can start subscribing again, guys. Um, <laughs> you can start. So Chris, yeah, we're good. We're good. We'll be on PS five. It's all good. <laughs> So yeah, you got that at 75 subs, and then get us to 100 subs, and I will do full 120-star playthrough of Super Mario 64, a game that I very much avidly dislike. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you want to torture us, subscribe, and also get us a URL. Hey, that'd be great. Head over to bit.ly slash the gigas to subscribe to also, our channel. Also, I did want to ask, add one more thing before I fade from existence is massive shout out to everyone that's been listening on podcast services. Last week was our most listened to week ever in terms of total listens across all of our episodes. So thank you for that. Um, oh, we snap. really appreciate awesome. it. It was Good work, guys. It was pretty wild. So thank you. And if you can keep up that support, that'd be great. Bye. Anyway, I better go, I guess, because that's it now. Yeah, we dude, we're going to be talking about a video game yeah. now. Yeah. 
If you need me, they already know how to Hurry, find me. Hurry, someone talk about the end. Oh, no! <laughs> Mr. Stark! Spider-Man dies! Mr. Stark, I don't want to go! No! <laughs> no! No! <laughs> All right, so now that Ethan is has finally left the building, let's talk about Spider-Man Miles Morales. How are you all feeling about the game so far? Uh, uh, Hunter, you want to start us off? Yeah, sure. I like it so far, as far as being a step from the 2018 game. There's a lot less fat in it so far, like... In the other game, there were at least three categories of things that they had you do around the city that I did not care about. And none of that is present here. So that's nice. Nice. And All right. as far as like the rest of it, um, you know, I think the story is interesting so far. Miles is a cool change of pace from Peter. The mm -hmm. other characters are also interesting in their own respects. So yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, I can definitely agree with that. Kane, Kane, how are you feeling? Um, uh, well, I I'm liking it. The uh, the the way that they did crime in this one is much less intrusive. Um, if you're trying to do completion, uh, <laughs> that was one of the big annoying things for me. In the original was where you had to do like a ton of crime in every area, and they just completely redid how you can do that. So it kind of just takes that original Spider-Man and gives you like crime on demand. Yeah. <laughs> Pick out when you want to do a crime and you just ignore all the other crime. You like, you'll know, just be like swinging it. around New York and then a little thing will pop up be like, oh, hey, there's a thing you can stop. Like, do I want to? Nah, not right now. <laughs> yeah. See, the thing about the first game was that if you didn't do it as you were going to, as it was happening, you would have to wait for it to randomly show up again rather than being able oh. to tap over and yeah, select it, it if you wanted. Yeah, it was really annoying because well, if you were trying to... The other thing was if you're trying to get all the tokens, you would have to wait for the right one to spawn, and then you had used that opportunity to not screw it up. Well, this, it's like, oh, I screwed up. You just leave the scene of the crime and then order a new one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One crime, please. All right. So now as for my perspective, I never, I didn't play uh, Spider-Man 2018. Um, I just never got around to it. It's something that I did always want to play want to pick up at some point but i just haven't gotten around to it yet but miles morales is super fun straight up just like being able to s just <clears throat> web sling around new york it's just a ton of fun yeah they, uh, they yeah. use the same manhattan island i think they just kind of retouched mm -hmm. it for a winter so yeah it's kind of a, a smart way to recycle resources and make it fresh mm -hmm. yeah yeah but of course new york just feels like a big giant playground so I'm sure it's like hardly noticeable that they reused it. I I don't have any problems like yeah. Right, one of my my favorite Spider-Man. Sorry, what were you saying? I, I talked said, over you. I just said that doesn't bother me one bit. Ah yeah, my my favorite Spider-Man before this was going to be Spider-Man Two from back in the day, where you swing around New York in kind of a similar, at least, game structure. Um, so definitely welcome to repeat that for me today. Mm -hmm. even going from like mission to mission if something's like 4,000 units away like I don't even mind web slinging, web slinging that far to go to my objective just moving miles is travel, so much but... fun yeah. yeah you can fast travel but I don't even bother doing it yeah, I know the world's most redundant fast travel system for sure why would you ever <laughs> take the subway <laughs> Which is a mark of a really good open world type of game, since tr if traversal is really fun, chances are you'll have fun with at least most of what you're doing. Exactly. I just remember Ghost of Tsushima was like the last big open world game that I tried to play, and I just got so tired of trying to go from point A to point B, just because the horse was so boring. But how are we all? How are we all feeling about the story so far? I guess before that, how how far into the game have you all gotten? I've beat the game. I got to the credits. Oh nice. shit! Good work. I've not done that yet. <laughs> I I didn't play it once the day I got it, and then I took uh, then I went to bed real early yesterday. So I'm still working on it. But I got past the set piece that they used in that one demo. 
And I did a couple more story missions after that, plus, you know, a little bit of the side stuff. So, Are you mm-hmm. talking about the cat demo or the other one? The, like, not like an the actual bridge. demo, but like oh, yeah, things yeah, they yeah. showed okay. with the bridge. Yeah, I got past that set piece and then did like two or three more story missions after that. That's yeah, I, I just passed story. the, I just passed the chase scene with Tinkerer, so okay. that's where I'm at. Yeah, I mean, it was, stuff like that was definitely cool to see. Where like, um, in the original like 2018 Spider-Man, you had a a shocker chase sequence, so like mm-hmm. you can see that they kind of reincorporated you know, the the gameplay from that one to to make it fit Miles, but it still doesn't feel like they just kind of resold us the same game. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely feels unique in its own regard, especially down to Miles having little touches to him that make him special as far as even when he's doing the same moves that were available to Peter, he has his own little animation details to him as, lo- as well as you know his other powers. Yeah, that's one thing we hadn't mentioned was the uh, the Venom powers that it's not really a spoiler if anyone has not played the game. It's literally you're introduced to it in the like openings. Yeah, um, is that Miles has um, special abilities that they call Venom powers that makes him pretty OP, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. If you know how to use them, you can just destroy everything. Mm-hmm. I feel like they could have called it something else, but yeah, that's I'm... only because I'm worried for avoiding confusion in the future. <laughs> we already, if you played 2018, you, you get the, the clue at the end of the game about who the villain is in the next game um or potentially the villain we don't actually know what the plot's gonna be but there's a certain character called venom that i think everyone knows of and uh calling it venom powers is going to be really confusing if miles is in that next game where you've got venom powers fighting venom it's like (laughs) they're not related they're just called the same thing yeah that's (laughs) But the powers yeah, I guess, themselves are pretty cool. I guess kind of for my sake, um, how much does the story of the first game tie into Miles Morales? None. None, None? of the bad guys are Sweet. in it. Uh, even the side characters, I I don't... So Feast as, um, as a, a donation center uh, is in the first one pretty heavily, and they make a few... Um, Aside, like J. Jonah Jameson makes some jokes about the villains in the first one, so you might not understand all the jokes, but you you're not missing anything. Yeah, I was just wondering that because there is a little recap thing you can watch before you start the game, but I chose to skip it because I just wanted to get right into it. Because <laughs> for some reason, I spent nice six hours thing. downloading the game last night. Oh my so. god. Yeah, I don't know what it was took going like 45 on. Forty five minutes to install it off the disc. I was surprised. <laughs> I don't know if it was just Sony servers or what, but yeah, I just ended up going to bed, and I'm like, all right, I'll play this in the morning, I guess. <laughs> so if y'all want to download the game, download it at night. You'll wake up and have a new game installed. Hopefully. Hopefully. Hoorah. Um. So I guess kind of on the on the subject of Venom, we kind of moved away from that. Um, how are y'all feeling about the combat? Um, so it the it's the same combat as 2018, which I was a big fan of. Mm-hmm. Um, but the Venom powers just make you more powerful. It's kind of like, it feels like in Tropical Freeze, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. <laughs> when they released it on the Switch, and you had Funky Kong, and it's like, well, obviously, <laughs> Funky Kong is just better than the other Kongs. Venom Power really? is better than 2018 Spider-Man. <laughs> it does add a nice little wrinkle to the combat that, you know, the combat in 2018 was definitely serviceable, but it could feel like it was getting old once you got towards, like, the late game things where it was just beat up these extra powered goons for mm-hmm. you know their base things i was like i don't want to do that anymore this is taking too long oh don't <laughs> worry the you're just in the, the earlier part of the game then because you got the overpowered goons that are now sufficiently powered to counter venom powers so that it, you get that same 
gameplay combat style that you started with. Yeah. yeah. I remember <clears throat> this last mission I just did, there was a, a shield guy and he had like a spear or a giant club. Yeah. If you don't have venom powers, you're kind of just foobard. Yeah. <laughs> and trying to build up venom power against him is very difficult. I will say the bosses are if you use venom power properly, the bosses are all trivial. Like I've played on like the default difficulty mm -hmm. and it's like I probably need to play on a higher difficulty just because how like it, it seemed too easy just at normal for me. <laughs> yeah, I've been going through on the standard difficulty and uh combat was a bit so weird for me to get accustomed to at first. It felt like I was just kind of being overwhelmed a lot, but I think I'm starting to get the get the get the gist of it more or less. Yeah, if you slide up between their legs and just like punch them up in the air, pretty much everything get killed like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm starting to Make gather sure you that. Dodge when the line lands on you, you know, good stuff. Do what? Dodge when they start aiming at you. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's about <laughs> it. It also took me a long time to realize that the little spider sense going off over his head was your dodge indicator. Yeah. And there's also <laughs> um, a lot of gadgets and stuff, like the, the suit mods, and one of them extends the amount of time for like a perfect dodge or whatever. So yeah. if you throw that on, it makes it really easy. Yeah. I have that one. <laughs> yeah, Miles also has a couple, a few gadget, a few side sub-weapons he can use. He's got yeah, his little... Are... They're interesting. Yeah, those are different from 2018s, and I think in a good way. Like, it just kind of adds variety. Makes yeah. Them feel like different spider man Yeah. I like the hologram projector ones because of the little banter that the hollow guys would say here and there. <laughs> like, hello, I exist now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the gadgets are another thing that I'm kind of forgetting about, but they're fun. They have a lot of cool utility you can do with them. There's like remote mines you've got. You can stick them to certain objects and detonate them whenever. Oh, that reminds me. The stealth is so much better. Oh, the stealth is so freaking fun. Oh, yeah. So in in 2018, the stealth, how it would work was you would be stealthing and then you'd hit wave two or whatever. And, and then you just have your to stealth would be blown. Yeah. But in this game, wave two doesn't necessarily get declared. But they do get reinforcements. But if you don't blow your your cover, then um, you remain in stealth. So you can do the whole mission in stealth mode. Mm -hmm. And the so, other thing is that even if your cover yeah. does get blown, you have camouflage you can use. You can basically just turn invisible and just get another chance to stealth again. That that always that has been amusing me where it's like, oh, my it, cover got blown. Yeah invisible you didn't see anything and you just see their little triangle meters just go back Where'd to yellow go? all right I love we're it. good now he's gone it gives me <laughs> very fond memories of metal gear solid mm -hmm. because they have a little stealth camo gadget in that it's nice yeah messing with people it's... while invisible is always fun kind of off topic but it's something that i always wish that the sly one sly two and three did where Sly does have an ability where he can turn invisible, but if you're in battle, you can't use it. So, I feel like that's kind of fixed here. It just kind of melts into the combat nicely. Um, so, what are some things that y'all have been y'all have been liking uh, and or disliking about the game? Any like noticeable issues or anything? Um, I I think to me like the the more annoying thing was just kind of how I feel like they wrote the story in a more um comic book cartoony style, uh where like the the twenty eighteen they took a lot more time I feel like to to develop the characters and it's spread out over a longer period while mm -hmm. this game is only like within like a four week period and so. They're kind of you get some flashbacks and stuff to try and shoehorn in the the lore, and it kind of feels like you you have characters that are supposed to have like that large development from like good to evil, and it happens in like a few days, and it's like uh, I don't know. I just don't feel like 
the story was as engaging. Okay. Kind of just cartoonish. <laughs> like, it's not bad, but it's just like less realistic. More like yeah. this person just went pure evil for the sake of evil. <laughs> How about I you, guess Hunter? To to what you're saying, like the uh, the uh, time capsule things. Those were like the backpacks in the first game, and I liked the backpacks a lot because it was like just giving you little bits of lore about this version of the Spider-Man world. But in this one, it's just all attached to one character, and it's not as like I don't know, it's not as gratifying since it's all just about the one person. Hmm. Interesting. It's really interesting hearing you guys' perspective on this coming from Spider-Man 2018. And then there's just me who's like, I haven't played any Spider-Man game. Oh, well, I mean, it's a good <laughs> game. It's just... Um, it is. 2018 had a lot more villains. It had a lot more... Um, like, the, the overall length of the, the story is, I feel like, longer. It, like, it takes you more time to get through it all because there's just more to do. Um this is definitely just more of a, a spin-off game, an embellishment on the in the series. So it'll definitely be interesting to see where Spider Man two, I guess that's what they call it, <laughs> takes it. Um because it, it does add to the this uh, Spider Man universe, kinda develops it more, gives you two Spider Men that are like legit Spider Men that you know, are gonna be able to potentially be active in that game, so I don't know. It'll be interesting to see where it goes, but uh, it's it's not like the flagship sequel. It, it's more of a spin-off game. Yeah, I feel like it was indicative of them not giving this a number. That's what they were trying to do. And I respect that. <laughs> kind of just like expanding on the whatever this Spider-Verse is going to be. Yeah. Because there's like 10 different spider verses going on at once right now <laughs> right yeah like it expands <laughs> on it but it doesn't like it doesn't use up any too many um villains i feel like they were trying to mm -hmm. budget their villains for you know later use and i feel like so far the one that came up for me or as, at least as far as i am the one that came up is a rather smart usage of it because when i first heard the tinkerer get mentioned I was like, oh, well, okay. It's going to be hard to make. Like, I was thinking of the version of them from Spider-Man Homecoming, where it was just that goofy <laughs> old dude or whatever yeah. playing with the gadgets. And I'm like, well, it's going to be hard to make them feel threatening. I feel like this is a very good spin on that. It makes it much more personal. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Because, <laughs> yeah, um, Bill and Spider-Man... Who's? Which Wait, one? what? Uh, oh, Kyle froze for my end. Sorry. Oh. Like, I couldn't. Whoop. Whoop. Sorry, dude. Hopefully that fixed it. <laughs> Maybe it was no, you're fine. Yeah, what's happening? I just, I just saw a lot of that. Is everything good? Don't yeah, worry good. about it. Did good? I say you could talk? No. Get out of here. Well, I just want to add that I have just submitted us to Amazon Podcast, whether we go up or not. I don't know, but I did fill in the form, so at least I tried. Hey. Yo, thanks, awesome. B. And also, in case I did show my Spider-Man code, I redeemed it on the store. Fuck you, you little leeches. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. But yeah, um, like I was going to say, the villains in Spider-Man 2018, those were the Sinister Six, right? Is what they used yeah. for that game? Yeah, they did. Nice. So how did they, this is kind of like my own, this is off topic, but how did they use the Sinister Six in that game? And how um, does it kind of compare to how they use, how they're using Tinkerer in this game? So the Sinister Six, you start off with just taking down individual members, um, like the, the beginning of the game, uh, what, what's the, the mob boss name? Fisk, uh, Wilson Fisk. Fisk. Yeah, they take down Even. Fisk. That's the opening. Um, and then I think like some of them are already in prison, but like maybe Shocker, you put back in prison or something. He might have, he gets out somehow and you Get just got to put him back here, in. Shocker. Um, and then you end up putting all of them in prison, and, except for uh, 
Dr. Octavius is uh, your scientific partner on developing what ends up being the, you know, his forearm exoskeleton, mm. that whole thing. Um, and he he starts off as like you know your friend and kind of a good guy, and you kind of through the whole course of the game see the difficulties that he's having, and he's kind of disabled, and so you can see. The, his descent into madness and it's actually really uh, really well developed I agree. Um, but uh, in this game you've got a, a smaller cast uh, but it, it's definitely it's interesting I, I don't know how spoilery we want to get um, but I think it, it is interesting uh, how they develop it and there's like relationships and mm-hmm. with Miles specifically and um, it's just a, a different dynamic yeah that is what I've liked about the Tinkerer so far, is that the dynamic feels a lot more personal than something like the Sinister Six w- could be. But, yeah. And of course, for if they decide to go forward with a Spider-Man 2, like, Spider-Man has a wide a wide range of villains they can pull from. Yeah, I think... There are um, so many. It's ridiculous. There's a lot. You've got three that are already, like, named and present that could potentially be villains mm-hmm. um obviously in 2018 if you played it um venom is alluded to in some degree we don't know if he would even be a bad guy but he there is the presence of him um you've got um oscorp and uh the green goblin potentially yeah. and then uh one of the doctors is a, a, named after um I, I can't remember his name. It was it was like Lizard Man or something. Doc Connors. Yeah, Doc the, Connors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's also in classic Spider-Man a villain. So he could he could not be a villain. He could be a villain. We don't know <laughs> anything about the lore. We just know they're present. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. And then I know in one of the. Sorry. And then I know in the mission that I just finished. Um, Kingpin got mentioned in passing. Yeah, just been very briefly. A couple times for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, one one small little detail I really like about the game is the radio that you have, where oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. either like J. Jonah Jameson or that podcast that you listen to can play. And my God, J. Jonah Jameson has made me just burst out laughing so many times yeah they did a great job with jonah so um, great. they really did in 2018 you only had jonah but it, it was great it was. <laughs> but they mix it up this one with jonah and then the podcast girl and there's, Danica. there's a, a, a nice dynamic there yeah. yeah it's nice it's nice for a change of pace mm-hmm I even like that in the in the podcast, she starts mentioning that she's been in contact with J. Jonah Jameson and the Daily Bugle. Oh, well, I don't, I don't want to... Uh, can I spoil a podcast for you? <laughs> Go for too- it. Okay. Go for there's, it. There's a podcast where they debate. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not awesome. going to tell you how it goes, but it's great. Oh, that sounds that amazing. <laughs> I can't wait for that. And then also, you can go back in the menu anytime and re-listen to them at, at any of the episodes at any point. So, if there yeah, was a particular favorite, you can do like, that. Crimes or something while one was playing, so I'm like, oh, I gotta stop and listen to it. I've cut off Jonah every single time. He comes on like, <laughs> while I'm swinging into a crime. <laughs> oh, no! That should be a crime in and of itself. Ah ha ha! Good one. Ah, ah. Ethan's not here to tell me I can't do that. <laughs> I'm invincible. Oh, you can do it whenever you want. <laughs> I'm invincible. <laughs> and this is what happens when Ethan lets me host, and he's not here to stop me. <laughs> Puns. Anyways, I'm kind of running out of topics. Truthfully, <laughs> um. Yeah. I guess the only mm-hmm. other things that we could talk about we um the side content and the, the missions and stuff. Um, oh yeah. How do they compare? Uh the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The overall collectibles, I feel like the, the distribution's comparable to the original, although a little bit more limited. 
um, you've got the same kind of um, was it the not the like the warehouses and stuff that you can some of them you have to like sneak into then others mm -hmm. are like open air um, construction sites and stuff where villains are full of um, yeah you have that same kind of thing but you got the different villains in there um, one of those that I thought was really interesting was in the uh, like the not in the trailers but at some point they previewed one where you save a cat you have like oh, cat yeah. and backpack and you come out and everyone was freaking out like wow did you see that load screen the ps5 it's so great i'm like <laughs> i did that on a ps4 and i think it had better performance <laughs> nice yeah i did that cat mission already mm -hmm. and me too it was a good one yeah. it was really nice i'm trying to figure out if there's a way to get the cat just to carry around with you i um, think there's a suit for it if you uh, do something I don't yeah, because okay. I remember seeing the cat show up in like finishers and yeah, some of the trailers. That's what I saw. It's like, how do I get the cat finisher? I don't know. It's like, I want this. How do I do this? I want his little mask. Um, have you all done any of the uh, the sound objective ones where you have to like find an audio thing and sequence it properly? I have not done that yet. Oh, I have done that. allude to it, but I was like, I'm gonna move on. Yeah, so mm -hmm. when, when you get later in the game, there's these other objectives that show up where you have to, like, you, you're in a, a, a square, and you have to find um, something that makes a noise, and you have to sample it. And it's probably the worst thing to do in the game, because okay. <laughs> it doesn't work, right? Like, that sounds like the kind of thing that I would have ignored in yeah. the original game. Like, <laughs> it's not in the original game. Yeah, I know uh, it I wasn't think... in the original game, but the original game had stuff like chasing pig pigeons for science, which I was like, nah, <laughs> not going to do that. Yeah, it, I, I think it's probably worse than the chasing pigeons for science. Uh, oh, that is one thing. They, they don't have anything like that where you just go to places and have like side missions. Yeah. It's all just kind of like standardized thing. So mm -hmm. I don't know, it's kind of more limited there. But yeah, the audio things when you get there are really annoying. Yeah. yeah. Warning. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really been doing much of the side stuff in the game. I tried doing one of the one of the stealth challenges, one of those little hologram spider challenges, and I just this was before I really understood stealth. So I was there for like twenty minutes trying to figure it out, and then I'm like, I ah, forget this. <laughs> I'm a dip and go back to the story. <laughs> yeah, I need to take a minute to do the challenges because I did a lot of the challenges in the original. Um, mm. In terms of like trying to get high scores and stuff, I had fun with that. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how these are. I had I literally did none of them. Uh, I did mm. a bunch of the side missions in Prime, but I don't know. Yeah, I've been doing the crimes and the little like requests from citizens, and also getting like the tech parts and the time capsules. But I've been ignoring like the Peter's training challenges and stuff because. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been I do doing like crimes the as some they... of the, uh, like, placement. <laughs> Sorry? No, I was just going to say, I've been doing the crime missions as they show up, and I'm in the area. It's, or it's, like, on my way to my next objective. I'm not really going out of my way to do much of the side stuff. But that's all for another day. I just wanted to get as far into this for this episode as I could. <laughs> And then worry about side stuff later. Yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> so, I don't remember if I already asked this. How does this game compare to Spider-Man 2018? Uh, in what ways? Like, the combat, I think we kind of mentioned that, where mm -hmm. it's the same, except for this has different weapons, and um, obviously the Venom powers. Um it's a little bit shorter game, and then the the distribution of events across the city is different, but mm -hmm. uh, in terms of just like collectibles and everything. But overall, uh, I think they just kind of took 2018 and um, added in a notably superior crime and um, activities feed with this app that they, they put in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, on the whole, it's just kind of an improvement. Yeah. I would say it's mostly an improvement as well. 
Nice. Um, another thing I want to mention is the menus, which may sound very odd, but I like how how stylized they are. If you're in a place where the map can't oh, be yeah. displayed, yeah. like you'll get this little sprite of Miles just with his mask up, just whistling and listening to music. Like the game has a lot of charm to it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Ooh, this didn't did you guys get nearly... like any suits that you liked? Like, were there I've been sticking with the Into the Spider Verse suit just because I, did, yeah. I absolutely love that movie. I did yeah, that, and then I immediately disabled the uh, the gadget that causes you to move in cinematic mode. Oh yeah, <laughs> twenty four FPS. Uh, Spider-Man was a little distracting to me. It's very noticeable. <clears throat> I liked the other animated suit as well. The one that's just called the animated suit. I like the way that one looks. Mm -hmm. too. And I like that the suits, you can change those at any time. And I think they also have their own combat properties, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. I was like that in the original, where... Um... One only there was only two ways to increase your speed in the original. You had to equip your camera and use the uh, a particular suit. Um, and so that was the the two ways you could boost your speed set. And then this one, there's different properties. I don't know that the stat system is necessarily the same. At least I haven't really noticed it. I don't know. Maybe I haven't paid attention enough. But um, it'll be interesting. I might try doing a. New Game Plus to see how that goes. Because uh, mm -hmm. New Game Plus, you get uh, three extra skill point um, things that you can upgrade. So if you just want to be extra OP, oh, yeah. New Game Plus nice. run through. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, just to see what like the max stats are. Because in the original, uh, or 2018 Spider-Man, uh, you could get stats that went off the meter. And <laughs> when that happened, it literally, like, the here's, here's your bar. And then, like, the stat just extends out to here. It's pretty great. <laughs> Damn. Nice. Yeah, that's the other thing. Um, there are skill trees in this game. I don't know if it was like that in 2018 or not, but... Yeah. yeah there classic, was. classic open world game syndrome. You got skill trees, branching paths unlockable gear, all that good stuff that everyone has not gotten sick and tired of yet. It's more limited, though. You get a ton yeah. of resources. Also, yeah. I didn't even notice, if you're, if, you're not, if you're playing for your first time, there's a red bar at the bottom with more skill options on it that I didn't notice existed until after I beat the game. Oh, yes. wait, there is? Yeah, there's even oh, more. Shoot. Oh, no. I didn't notice that. I'll have to go take either. a look at that. I'll have to look at that when I... I, I didn't <laughs> read what they were, but I was like, oh, look, more skills to invest into. Next <laughs> time. A lot of times with games like these, I just kind of attach to one. I'm like, yeah, I'll do this one first. This game, I was like, ah, oh, Venom skills. That seems like the logical one to start with. My priority yeah. was opposite. I was like, is there anything that is not Venom related that I can invest in? <laughs> didn't have very many options. Yeah. Until I yeah. noticed the bottom. <laughs> huh. But all right, I guess any any closing thoughts that y'all want to talk about? Anything else that I might have missed? Um, I don't know. I think as, as far as Spider Man goes, that kind of covers it pretty well. It's yeah, it's not a a full a full game like it's definitely kind of in that spin-off category uh it's not full price either yeah yeah, like it's, yeah. i feel like it has enough merit of its own to warrant you getting it though if you're interested yeah mm -hmm. right? it's good but if you haven't played 2018 spider-man it's it's either way if you like the the story more 2018 is probably gonna have a a, a better story and development but this one's still good, and I think the overall mechanics and the way they upgraded 2018s in some regards is better. So, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, I feel as like someone who didn't play 2018. Sorry, go on, Hunter. 
I said, I feel like the way the, the things they did to streamline it in this one are pretty nice. And I can't wait to see that implemented more in like a Spider-Man too, like the better crime thing and all that, like I've been saying. Mm -hmm. And then coming from my perspective as someone who never played Sp Spider-Man 2018, it's a really good jumping in point if you just want to get the Spider-Man experience. Like the game, this game does a really good job of emulating how I imagine it would feel to be, to be Spider-Man. Like, I don't know, game's just fun. Honestly, go check it out if you're interested. Agreed. Because I've, truthfully, until like a couple days ago, I was planning on not even picking this game up until Ethan said, hey, I need you to come on this episode. And as far as games I've had to buy for this podcast, it's definitely one of the best ones I've gotten so far. So thank you, Ethan, nice. for making me buy this game. <laughs> um, anything else? Is there any uh, other games? What what else is going on in the world of gaming? Anything ah, else to talk about this a, week? That's a can really good a question. <laughs> also, can I just say, Cal, your webcam is dead, and I don't know what's happened to it. But it happened dead. earlier as well. Well, last so, weekend I played Return of the Obra Din. That was really cool. Uh, Did you carry on? Act garbage. Pretend you saw nothing. You guys, guys right. saw nothing. You guys saw nothing. Since, so, anyway, since oh. Kane asked if we were playing anything else, last weekend I played Return of the Obra Dinn, and that's that's a really cool like mystery type game. Hello. Uh, set up as like a ship okay. disappeared and then came back, and you got to figure out what happened. It was really neat. As it like a logical puzzle, I think that was one of the best mysteries I've ever like experienced in a game. Maybe not as suspenseful as something like Danganronpa, where murders are happening every minute, but it was still <laughs> interesting nonetheless. Okay, I just want to cool. add to you guys that uh, they could see me for a little bit, and they couldn't hear me because I moved my mic. So that's on me. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. You saw me phase and talk to you guys, and you didn't. They didn't hear me, but. Um... <laughs> Did you want me? Sorry. I was busy writing. We were just wrapping up and we were trying to fill time while you were. Oh, yeah. We're wrapping up? Oh, cool. No, I'm not. We've I'm set our spiel on Spider Man. Hey, that's good, dude. Shortest episode of the podcast ever. I've got nothing to add. So. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think we do what either. What else is going on in the world of gaming? That's how you can carry on if you want. Don't that was we? the only game I'd played recently. That's all we had to talk about. Oh, wow, what a great episode, guys. I'm really looking forward to the full episode now because I've literally not been listening. Um, <laughs> I've got nothing to add. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> Kyle, you look shocked, right. dude. You look shocked. Do you good? No, nah, I'm good. You said everything? <laughs> well, did you say if you recommend it? That's usually so. I, did. I do recommend yeah. it. It's That's... true. That's good. I just All three of us gave it a thumbs up. Cool. I'm sure I will as well, but um, <laughs> I haven't played it. Look forward to his review next Wednesday. Not, <laughs> For crash. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I was the reason that I wasn't paying attention and I was kind of throwing off is because I was writing the crash review. It's nearly done. It's nearly done. Nah, very it's good. Nearly done. It'll be up on Wednesday. Um, Didn't you write that like three weeks ago? No, I wrote like <laughs> half of it, and then I changed my mind on a lot of it. So it's been in the process for a while. I'm sorry, everyone. I said it would be up a lot quicker, but um, it hasn't been. I switched back to regular now. I'm back to regular size me. Um, ah, but that's that. Uh, um, well, I guess the only thing that I do want to add is next week. Obviously, we got the PS5 stuff if it come if it shows up. So that's important. <laughs> um. So yeah, look out for that kind of stuff. And then have we um mentioned like anything about reviews and stuff like that going forward? Uh no. basically don't expect any reviews in the, anytime soon because I've got to play the the flipping game and Hunter's probably gonna be reviewing Hyrule. So I mean if I get the if I get Spider Man done this weekend, I could potentially write the review and do it. Okay. Well, it didn't take me very long it, to do Hades' review. It only took me about eight hours, including like going and doing multiple side missions and everything to beat mm. Spider Man. So okay. Miles, I played cool. for like four hours today, so yeah. It depends. Halfway <laughs> You're halfway there, dude. Yeah. Either way, if not, either Hunter will be doing it or 
I'll be super late to it. It'll be one or the other. We will see what happens. Uh, I was planning on doing a. I was planning on doing something with Spider Man Remastered, saying if it was any good, like if the upgrades were worth it. Um, you got the new character model. That's one thing we didn't talk about at all. Okay, is that Spider Man has a different character model than 2018 Spider Man? Yeah, they just I wouldn't have noticed because he hasn't. Yeah, yeah. And now he looks like Tom Holland. Because we need to put Tom Holland in everything. It actually, I think that was more coincidental than anything. The reason Insomniac did it, was probably the, pe- the person that they originally cast as Peter Parker, they just cast him because they were like, "That's what we want our Peter Parker to look like." And then they got Yuri Lowenthal in, and they were like, "Oops, Yuri's face and this guy's face don't match, so we can't do facial capture. So the facial capture looks really awful." So they decided to do the <laughs> right thing, and instead of going on with that face and having awful facial capture, they're like. Let's just recast so that it matches Yuri's face so that it doesn't look awful. And from the clips that I've seen of Spider-Man Remastered, it it takes a while to get used to it, but it does look like it's a lot better. So I'll yeah. say that. He doesn't make many appearances in Miles, but I don't, it didn't really bother me. I was never a big fan of the original 2018 Spider-Man. I didn't like how he looked. He did have a weird... Yeah. I do like the new model a lot more, actually. It yeah. looks more like Peter. Also, I just want to give this little throw out, this throwback. We might as well. It's not my show. Cal can't stop me now. I can't stop myself. I'm going. Um, well, <laughs> you, I don't know if you noticed this, but if you ever go back and play Spider Man now and go and listen to uh, Otto Octavius's voice, it's fucking it's Yoshida from Persona Five, and now I can't really. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. I haven't yeah. played Spider Man no. since playing Persona, yeah, so okay. I wouldn't know. That's cool. awesome, though. That's hilarious. That's, it's I- Octavius is in a flashback, not as a background character. You can hear him talking at oh, some point in this well, game. Yeah. Oh, sweet. It's not sure related I'll to the plot. He's just well, there. Well, yeah, there you go. Guys. You, you listen, you'll literally just hear, oh, that's, that's, the, that's the politician from Persona 5. I was just like, that's funny. This little thing. <laughs> well, once know. they've become Persona Five characters, that's all they are to me. So that will be great. <laughs> like, that's why he sounds familiar, and I'm like, oh, it's the politician. I knew it. Anyway, <laughs> that's my only spiel. I, I've got nothing. I'm done. <laughs> I'll let you wrap it up, Kyle. I'll let you wrap it up. Well, all right then. I guess that's been the episode. What? How do you guys feel about Spider-Man Miles Morales? Let us know in the comments down below, or you can hit us up on Twitter at the Gigas YT. Is that our yeah? Is that our handle? At Hot Gamers Only. You can send them to either of them, or at Hot Gamers Only. You, you can follow both of them if you want. HGO Please. usually HGO usually tweets about uh, highlights and main episodes. Uh, Gigas tweets out the main episodes and then anything else we do. So if you want to get, if you want to see when highlights go live, follow H- the H- HGO Twitter. If you want to follow what, when regular stuff comes out, then you can just follow the Gigas. You can follow both as well. It doesn't hurt. It's not going to kill yeah. you. Um, I also want to say no highlights this week either. Uh, we'll be back to highlights probably the next week um, because I've been ill. And the last thing that I want to do, I can't edit the highlights for this week because I can't listen to this episode. So there you <laughs> go. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. But anyway, that's it. I'm done now. I, I swear. I'm, I'm sure they'll manage. All right, so Kane, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me Twitter, YouTube, Twitch uh, at slash Kane of Hockey. I'm nice. sure that'll flash across the screen at some point. Oh, it will. <laughs> exactly when you say that, it will. It's like magic. <laughs> I'm great with the hand gesture and everything. Uh, no, it won't. <laughs> the hand like Everybody a- has to do that now, so that it's like a- <laughs> I'm here to put the text. It's more like a. It's more like a- swoosh swoosh like that it's not like a laugh but there you go sorry <laughs> i've ruined this podcast right. sorry. <laughs> now you know how it feels to be in my position yeah and i <laughs> yours yeah great right. <laughs> it's like the world's worst freaky friday <laughs> hey we should have done this yesterday friday the 13th oh, you got a point. <laughs> right you have a point. Right. Hunter, where can people find you? <laughs> YouTube.com slash ReaperHunter23. Nice. Ethan, where can people find you since you're a part of this episode now? Yay! At Chaotic Ether on both Twitter <laughs> and Twitch. Make sure to go and follow because I really deserve it from this week's performance. Thank you. And be sure to wish him a happy birthday. You can do that. And well, you yeah. can find me 
on Twitter at KDavisSRL or on Twitch at twitch.tv slash KDavisSRL. And that is the episode. We'll be back next week. Well, some of us will be back next week to talk about PS5 first impressions. So look forward to that. Who, who knows who I'll drag on to Ramble to? That's going to be a great episode. You see, I mean, you I'll have Hyrule Warriors to have given impressions been... on by now, too. Yeah, true. That's a good point. But no, you guys should have been grateful for this week's episode for me being gone, because next week you're going to be sick of me again. You should be grateful. <laughs> you're going to be like, oh, my PS5 died. <laughs> <laughs> my dad kicked it and it disintegrated oh, that is one thing i didn't mention at all uh, i had so i have had three soft locks one hard crash and i actually almost corrupted the save file where i had to restart the game and then cross my fingers that it would load properly and that did not work on the first try <laughs> what part of the game did this happen in uh they're the side missions Okay. I'm not okay. Then. Don't do any cool. of them. <laughs> Got it. Don't worry about the side missions. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. I think that is going to wrap it up for this week. We'll see you guys next week for PS5 First Impressions. Till then, take care. See ya. Toodaloo. <laughs>